Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is you rejoining me, well then, thanks for the commitment. Could really use some in my life. Basically, what I did is I asked these guys yesterday if you wanted me to make a video on either like Tinder issues or on um, celebrity smash bang sort of thing. So the winner was, you guessed it, Tinder dates, of course. So with further to do, let's get onto the video. As with this video, there is a disclaimer, um, these people, I'm not going to mention their names, um, or anything like that, just because obviously their privacy is like they deserve it. But a lot of things I'm going to talk about did happen three or four years ago, um, when I was very young and dumb. So, yeah. So one of my first ever dates that I went on as a gay guy, I guess you'd say, um, I would say... I think I was 17 and I was on Tinder and I was kind of just looking for like a friendship or something like that because I was really nervous and I didn't want a relationship or anything like that. God means like getting intimate with someone that terrified me at the time. Um, so I started talking to this guy. He was older than me. So he was probably, I'd say like 30 years old or something like that. And I was 17. So yeah, a lot of age gap but it gets worse trust me so anyway um he's pretty friendly and everything like that not too full on um i explained him you know like i haven't been with a guy before like you know i'm just looking for a friend and everything like that. he's like that's cool that's all i'm looking for you know i recently got a relationship blah 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 etc just general so anyway we go um to go catch up he comes to my house to pick me up which is fine so i gave him my address he comes to pick me up and then he's like, oh, let's go down to the beach and we can go um, have lunch or something like that. So he rocks up. He's in like a pretty beat up sort of car, like no judgment, whatever. First thing he does is he basically, I get in his car and then he holds onto my hand and then he gives me a kiss. But like, not a normal kiss. He tried to like, you know, put his tongue down my throat, which terrified the fuck out of me because one, I've only had a girlfriend in my whole life. You don't just do that when you meet a stranger. And like, I kind of set the boundary of what this is going to be. I just kind of like rejected it. I was just like, oh yeah, you know, like kiss me on the cheek, mate. Like, you know, like that. Um, and just bear in mind, I was 17 at the time. So I'm very like fragile and like shy and shit. So I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, is this what dating is when you're an adult? I don't know. I mean, he asked me like what I did for work, everything like that. I told him I just worked at the bank, you know, I didn't make much money, that's all good. I told him I just got a new car. Weird thing is, I got a new car, like no, like no shade or anything like that. But he basically said to me, he's like, oh, like that's not a good car. And I was like, babe, it's brand new. Like, sorry, like, okay, whatever. Like, that's just a thing. Like, it just annoyed me. I just think if someone gets something, you should just respect that and be like, oh, that's awesome. Even if you just like, don't really care, whatever. That's just a general life thing. You know, he buys me a drink at this time. I can't actually drink because I'm 17 at the time. But anyway, he got me a drink, which is a bit weird, but, um, you know, I'm not going to say no. To... <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so the next thing is he basically, um, we started eating, started talking. He started talking about his like real life thing, but he kept staring at me and not like that typical, like, you know, oh, just like friendly. It was like staring at me like the whole time. And every time I would like do something, like I'd get a drink and stuff like this. Like I'd just be like drinking. Like I would look up and he would just be staring at me and I'm just like, okay, mum, pick me up, babe. I started getting really weird vibes though from him. Cause like, you know, when you just get that feeling that something's not right. Well, it started like, you know, we went for a walk and everything like that. And he started like rubbing my back, but it started getting really fucking weird. And I was like, yeah, you know, like, nah, I'm good. At this point, he done some things that have just made me feel really uncomfortable at the time. Bear in mind, I'm 17 years old and he's 30. Oh, this is the main thing as well. When he rocked up, right? I don't know a lot of 30 year olds, but he looked a lot older. Like in his photos as well, like his photos, he looked like he was maybe 28-ish. In real life, he looked like he was like, 40. Like, I'm not even, like, I'm not one to speak. Like, I get the ca the camera and real life difference. But, like, this was, like, nah. This photo was from a while ago. And then, like, I went 
to the bathroom. Have a look at his profile. And I'm like, is this the same dude? I had a look through. It's it's definitely him. But you know something that you can tell is, you know, like when you go through photos, obviously like photo quality is worse. Bear in mind, like we were rocking like iPhone fives or something at the time. But a lot of the photos, they looked like they were taken on quite an old camera because they were like blurry and shit. Okay, like maybe it's just an old photo. And I looked and I was like, no, it definitely says he's 30 on here. So like I go back out there and I realize I'm like, no, like this guy looks older than what he said. And two, he looks different. Like I'm not being a bitch or anything like that, but like you can't go from a photo going from like quite slender and like young looking and different sort of face shape now looking a bit more run down. Like you can just tell like life is just shit. So like, I'm kidding. It's not, but you know what I mean? Like, you can tell when someone's been aged, like it's just, it's a thing. I went back out there, like we went for a walk and everything like that. And I did bring it up. I was like, hey, um, you know, like in your photo. And he's like, what do you mean? What about my photos? And I was like, oh, like, no, no, no. Like your photos on Tinder. You look a little bit like you look different. Have you done something different? Or he's like, what are you trying to say about it? And I was like, no, no, no. Like, no, nah, I'm not saying anything. Um, and I was like, but like, you do look different in real life. I'm not saying you look bad, but that looks like an older photo. And he's like, oh, you don't look that great yourself. Oh, uh, okay. Um, awkward silence. After that, I was like, oh, you know, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. I'm not going to bring it up again. We went and got ice cream. And then he's like, after that, he's like, oh, hey, um, do you want to like, do you want to get back in my car and we can hang out? And I said to him, I was like, no, like, I really want to catch up with you again. I think you're great. Um, just drive me home. He started driving me home, which is fine. And then he took me to Murray Alta. It's basically where people have weddings and stuff like that. Like it's very romantic. It's like a gardeny sort of place, like a park area. He took me there. I was like, oh, this is cool. I haven't been here before. Thinking nothing of it. And I go for a walk. He wants to hold my hand, which I'm not really like into public like displacements of affection. Like I'm just not a big fan. So he does that. I'm like, okay, like I'll do this. There's not many people around. Like it's fine. It's all good, all good. So we start walking, he pushes me against a structural area. So he pushed me against it and he started trying to make out with me. And like, I was really off guard. Like I literally was just like this, trying to like penetrate my lips. And I pushed back off of him. I was like, no, like I'm good. I'm not like, I'm not interested. He's like, he's like, oh, so you were all keen on when you, you know, you had the sort of photos of me, but now you're not keen on me at all. Like, what are you on about? I said to him, I was like, well, you can't really talk because like, what, you know, 20 minutes ago or whatever, you just said to me that, oh, you know, I didn't look that great in real life. So, but then here you are taking me to this place, trying to like, you know, patch me or some shit. I was like, okay, like, nah, man. Nah. He's like already like giving me the side trip now, looking at me like he's super frustrated. We get back in the car, I'm like, I just want to go home. He gets in the car, he starts driving super aggressively. Bear in mind, I live about 20 minutes away here. And I'm just like, shit, like this dude, like he's gonna fucking kill me. I said to him, I was like, you know, like it was really sweet. He thinking in my head, like, what can I do to sort of like calm him down and make him like feel like I'm interested in him just so I can get home safely. I was like, oh, hey, like, you know, thanks for like taking me out today. I really appreciate it. You know, I'm sorry if I'm just a little bit nervous, really struggle, never done this before. He's like, oh, that's okay. It's just that, you know, I expected more from today. And I was like, <laughs> We get back to my house and I said to him, I was like, I'll see you next time. He says to me, he's like, he's like, oh, do I get a kiss? And I was like, oh, you know, like I, I'm, I'd prefer just to go slow. But then randomly he's like, oh, by the way, you were right. I was like, oh, what do you mean? He's like, those photos that you're talking about, I look different because I was younger. I was like, oh, okay. No, I was like, I was like, that's all I wanted to know. And I was like, oh, how much younger? And then he tells me, he's like, oh, like, you know, like my profile says I'm 30 and those photos were roughly when I was 30. And I was like, oh, okay. So like, how old are you? And he's like, oh, I'm 39. And I was like, yeah, okay. I, I had no, I had literally had no idea what to say. I was like, okay, cool. So my dad's younger than this dude. Um, like I felt just like betrayed. Like I was like, oh my God, fuck me. Like I did this one time, something I never, ever do. And then he's like, lied to me and try to like, push me around that kind of stuff. This is weird, not interested. I, 
I go back, he starts texting me. He's like, oh my God, I had such a good day, blah, blah, blah. I really want to catch up with you, all that kind of stuff. Um, I was just like being like, oh, you know, like I appreciate it. I'm not really feeling it. So he's like, oh, well, why would you leave me on like that? Like, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that to me? I didn't lead you on. This turned into like a six month sort of, sh it's like I blocked him on everything. Um, he would create fake profiles and fake email addresses to contact me in some way. Also used to use like his work phone to try to contact me. It wasn't just like contacting me. It was like sending me the grossest vile shit ever, right? Um, anyway, he messaged me at some stage. He's like, uh -huh, huh I got a boyfriend now, you know, like, you know, sorry you missed out. And in my head, I'm like, oh my God, thank Jesus. You saved me, bub. Um, this guy's gonna leave me alone. Cut to like 12 months later, I found myself a boyfriend happy as everything like that. He must have found out that I had a boyfriend. So he must have been checking my stuff because I didn't really post about it at all back then. Um, and then he started texting me all this kind of stuff like, oh, like, you know, I know where you live. Like, I'm going to come to your house right now. I hope he's there because I'm going to tell him how much like of a, you know, um, I can't remember what word it was, but it was basically like saying like, oh, shallow, like what kind of a shallow person you are that, you know, you only care about looks and stuff like that. Um, and I just said to him, I was like, please don't come to where I am. I was like, I'm not even home. I was like, if you're going to like cause a scene at my house, like, I'm literally going to call the police. Cause all that person that was, was my single mom and my brother. And I was like, I would fucking die if they had to deal with this. Like, I have no idea. Like I only spent what, two, three hours with him. And like from just the basis of those three hours, I could just imagine like what he would do. Anyway, I remember I got my, or my ex-boyfriend to give him a call. And like he went off at him. After that, like he actually blocked me from everything because I think he was just shit scared of me. So yeah, that's that's about it. I hope he's happy in his relationship. It was really weird though that he was dating someone at that time and then still trying to like chase after me. People that do that, if you're not happy, like if you're with somebody and you're checking on somebody, please end it for that person because like you're it's just messed up, man. And I see this way too often. But anyway, that was story number one. Number Two. Um, so this one, it was really easy. I was on Tinder after another breakup, of course, because like, uh, I honestly say, if you break up with someone, unless you can do the casual sex thing, don't do Tinder. Like, it's just going to mess you up. It just does. Like, you can't do it. This one was actually pretty funny. I looked at the profile and there was a guy... And you know, he had all his friends. He always had friends in the photos and stuff like that. And I was like, cool. He seems really outgoing. He seems pretty chill. I remember messaging him. I was like, hey man, like, you know, you look really like outgoing. I really love that about someone. You know, like, let's catch up. Let's hang out, man. Like, I want, I want this. Like, let's hang out. Like, you seem cool. Very cute, by the way. Cute dude. Anyway, he's like, yeah, man, like, let's hang out. Love to meet you. Like, you're very cute. And I was like, oh, bless killing me already. He organized a time. I remember like looking cute after work. I walked down, I meet him at a pub and he's there, but with somebody else as well. So I was like, hey, how you going? My name's Michael. Nice to meet you. He's like, hey, my name's Bob. Nice to meet you, Michael. I was like, cool, cool. And he's like, oh, this is my mate, Matt. Hey, I was like, oh, hey, Matt. Hey, Bob, how you going? Um, and I was like, Bob, it's nice to meet you. You know, like we had some pretty good banter. I remember we sat down, we ordered some onion rings, just chilling, like normal conversation. Anyway, um, I'm getting really along with this Bob guy. And I'm like, wow, like, you know, he's funny. He's cute. He's charming. He seems really into me. So like, this might work. This might, this like, you know what I mean? Like I've been like, bam, like one of my first dates after work, already feeding me, already giving me alcohol. Let's lock this shit down. So anyway, um, he goes to the bathroom. That's fine. He leaves me with his friend, Matt. So I'm like, hey, Matt, like, you know, like, do you normally just swing along, like, um, as a third wheeler, like, or is this just because you wanted a beer after work or something? He says to me, he's like, he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, because you're here, like, you're here with us. Like, you know, what's up? Anyway, he's like, did Bob not tell you? And I was like, what do you mean Bob didn't tell me? What do you mean? And he's like, um, we're a thing. And I was like, what do you mean you're a thing? Anyway, Bob comes out and he basically, I think he hears what we're saying. Anyway, he comes around and he like, he walks past me. He like rubs my shoulder and I was like, okay, like that's cute. Anyway, he rubs my shoulder and then I was like, so, um, your friend Matt just told me like these guys are a couple. And he's like, 
Yeah, yeah, of course we are. Like, I didn't, like, he's in all my photos. And I was like, oh my fucking God. I was like, I was like, I thought that was your friend. I was like, your description was really brief and you never talked about him in any of our messages. He's like, yeah, we're like, we're looking for a third person. And I was just like, guys, I think you're really cute. I can't do it. I'm like, I'm way too jealous as a person to do that. Anyway, we had a few beers, we had a laugh about it, but it was it was probably one of the funniest things I ever did because I basically just like almost got into a three way without even knowing. Um, so yeah, that, that was pretty funny. Like I liked that one. That was good. Bah three. Okay, this is probably one of the better dates that I've had. Um, so I remember I, I I saw this guy. He was really like an entrepreneur. He's like, I've got my own businesses. You know, like I've got all this stuff going on. I was like, cool, cool, like. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. No, nah, but he was actually pretty chill. Like he seemed like he like funny, like he had something like going on. He was kind of handsome too. We organized a hangout. I don't know why. I feel like the hangout zones for like people when you meet is cafe, pub or beach. It's only those three. Oh, maybe the movies too, but like, you know, I've got another thing about movies. <laughs> Let's just say, like, I had to walk out and someone in a movie. It was really bad, really terrible. Hate myself for it. It happened. I'm sorry. And we met at the beach. And it was pretty chill. Like, we went for a walk down, everything like that. We rarely talk. Like, we haven't talked much yet. We've just said, like, hello. Like, my name's Michael. His name is Blake. And, um, you know, everything's going chill, everything like that. He's shorter than me by quite a bit, which is, like, that's fine. Um, it just, it kind of caught me off guard because you know how like sometimes you see photos and they look really tall and I'm just like, ah, uh, like what's going on? Um, just, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> another thing. Don't hate shorties. They're cute. Just depends. Make sure you portray it first. Um, so basically catch up. He seems pretty chill, everything like that. One of the, like, I'd say probably the second or third things he asked me is like, oh, so like, you know, what are you looking for? And I'm like, oh, you know, like just hang out, hopefully, potentially boyfriend, you know. God knows, friends, whatever. Um, he's like, oh, okay. He's like, how many sexual partners have you had? And I was like, sorry, what was that? What did you say? Did you just ask me that question right now? And I was like, oh, at this time, I was probably like, oh, I've had like three. Like I've had, I had this in four. About three like actual people I've had sex with. Like, and he's like, oh shit. And I was like, what? What happened? Did you drop something? And he's like, He's like, what? He's like, you're 20 and you've only had sex with three people. And I was like, yeah, like I've been in a relationship for the last three years. Like what's, what's up with that? And he's like, dude, he's like, that's, that's a turn off. That's a major turn off. And I said to him, I was like, oh, okay. Well then I asked the question back. I was like, well, so how many people have you slept with? He's like, well, I travel for work. And he's like, in the last six months, I've probably had over 50 plus different partners. And I was like, what do you mean? Like 50, 50 sex, like you've had sex 50 times since like the last three, six months, or you've had 50 different people. It's like 50 different people. It's like, fuck having sex with the same person. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And he said to me, he's like, oh, he's like, he's like, honestly, he's like, I, I don't think I actually want to like hang out with you anymore. And I was like, okay, that's fine. He's like, he's like, I'm happy to hang out with you, but like, I'm looking for someone that I can have sex with. And I was like, well, you know, like, respect how honest you are like good on you good game um didn't mention this in the last two weeks of us talking but that's fine anyway um i think because he like, my profile at the time was like looking for a man like wanting a relationship like that was my bio like it was pretty like intense it was like yeah it was like a list of everything that you needed to tick and then maybe question mark <laughs> um i've changed it now it's all good um but anyway i remember him like he, he asked me the next question. He's like, oh, so like, he's like, surely you're joking. And I was like, he's like, I wish it was a joke. Like, I just don't get around. Like, don't make me feel like I'm a fucking weirdo right now. Anyway, I started questioning myself. Like, fuck, I feel weird. Like, is this normal? Like, what's going on? Anyway, this affected me for like two months after the situation. I found out like, you know, like we all different. Some of us like to fuck everything. Some of us have standards. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, so... He's like, he said to me, he's like, oh, well, are you on prep then? If you're going to start sleeping around? I said, I was like, one, what the fuck is prep? And two, why are we sleeping around? So apparently he explained to me like prep, something that guys take daily. And it uh, means like if you have like lots of casual sex, it's kind of like 
you can't get HIV or whatever. This is a whole thing as well, like about HIV. I remember like after this whole weird discussion with this guy, one, I never slept with anyone in like six months after this situation. <laughs> and two, I remember going to my doctor, I got checked up, everything like that, just to make sure I was healthy. But then I was asked, I was like, hey, should I be on this? Because like this guy kind of like made a judgment of it. He's like, he said to me, he's like, nah, he's like, um, you know how like, like he's like, you know how rare it is to get like HIV, he's like, it's the same if you're in a heter heterosexual relationship. Like it's, it's not a thing. He's like, and I said to him, I was like, cool. I was like, because like the people I sleep with anyway, like I feel like we go out on multiple dates and like I can pick their characteristics and I'd be able to ask them that question and then I would be able to trust them. Um, because I feel like if someone kind of declares to you that they haven't got it and then something happens and like, bitch, we go on a court, nah. Um, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's a trust thing. Like, it's like with anything, you don't, like, I feel like just because I'm categorized as gay and if you're straight, you shouldn't be like, when you hang out with someone, because one, it doesn't stop you from getting sexually transmitted diseases. Like, that's not, that's not what happens. Um, but I remember, like, asking my doctor, I was like, hey, like, should I take this or anything like that? And he's like, no. Nah. And I was like, cool, well, I don't have sex anyways. <laughs> he's like, why? Why not? And I said to him, I was like, fuck, it's coming from you too. He's like, first of my parents, my friends, every guy in the gay community, and now you're my fucking doctor. I was like, shit, can't a guy just get a break? Um, <laughs> and my voice is good, 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 good. Um, anyway, guys, that's like a few of my things. Um, I couldn't really think of too many. I know I've got on a lot, and I think if I did actually think about it a bit more, I would have more things basically a few of these were traumatizing and two were sort of funny. If that's not a good combo, I don't know what is. Well, that brings us to the end of this video, guys. I do appreciate it. Make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe um, to my channel. Leave some comments. I'd love to get some love um, and just let you know like what you think. If you've had any situations like this, please let me know down below. And if you've been through things like this or are you are going through something like this, get the fuck out. Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Yes, I didn't die. I'm still around, obviously. Um, a lot of people did ask me that because my channel's been dead so like for so long. But here's a new video, so you guys can just like settle down. <laughs> um, I've been busy. All right, I've been super busy. Me just sitting here like eating and sleeping, pretty much. Um, anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Love you. Yeah.